Most men think they know how to please a woman, but the reality is far from it. Yes, you heard it right. The majority of men believe they have cracked the code to a woman's pleasure, but unfortunately, it's not as straightforward as they may think. Pleasing a woman goes beyond just physical touch. It's about understanding her body, her desires, and communicating effectively. It's about connecting with her on a deeper level, and not just focusing on the end goal. The truth is, every woman is different, with unique preferences and desires. So, if you're relying on one-size-fits-all advice, you're likely missing the mark. What works wonders for one woman might not resonate with another. And believe it or not, this is where most men falter. They fail to understand that the secret lies in being attentive, understanding, and communicative. So, are you ready to debunk the myths and learn the real secrets? Hold on tight. Five moves, that's all it takes to make her scream. Let's get straight into these five key techniques. No need for explicit details, we'll keep it simple and straightforward. It's about the principles behind each move, not the act itself. First off, we have the feather touch. Imagine your fingers are as light as a feather, gently exploring her skin. This technique is about creating anticipation. It's about making her yearn for more. Secondly, there's the circular caress. This isn't a race. It's a slow dance. Use the pad of your finger to create a slow, rhythmic circle. It's about creating a rhythm that she can get lost in. The third technique is the steady stimulation. This move demands consistency. Find a rhythm and stick to it. The trick here is to keep the pace steady. No sudden changes or surprises. Our fourth move is the double delight. This one's a bit more advanced and may require some practice. The idea is to stimulate two areas at once, doubling the pleasure. Finally, we have the grand finale. This technique is all about building tension and then releasing it. It's the crescendo of the symphony, the climax of the story. Now these aren't just random techniques, they're principles. They're about understanding her body and what makes her tick. They're about becoming a master of her pleasure. But here's the kicker. These techniques aren't a magic formula. They're not going to work on every woman every time. Each woman is unique, with her own desires, her own responses. Remember, these moves aren't a one-size-fits-all solution. Each woman is different. You've got the moves, but do you have the words? Now, we're not talking about sweet nothings whispered in her ear. Although that can have its own charm, we're talking about open, honest conversations. Yes, that's right. The secret to driving your woman wild isn't just about mastering the physical, but also the verbal. Communication is the bedrock of any relationship, and in this case, it's no different. You need to understand her preferences, her boundaries, and what makes her tick. But how do you do that? By asking, by listening, by observing. And remember, it's not just about what she likes, but also about what she doesn't. Respect her boundaries always, because pleasure is not one-sided, it's shared. It's a dance, and like any dance, it requires coordination, understanding, and rhythm. And where does all that come from? You got it. Communication. So don't shy away from those conversations. They might be awkward, they might be difficult, but they are necessary. Because when it comes to pleasing a woman, silence isn't your friend. Silence isn't golden here, speak up. Mastering these moves won't happen overnight. That's the truth, plain and simple. But don't let that discourage you. Instead, let it motivate you. The path to becoming a master at anything, not just in the bedroom, is paved with practice, patience, and persistence. Think about it. You didn't learn to ride a bike in a day, did you? And remember the first time you tried to cook? I'm guessing it wasn't exactly a Michelin star experience. But with time, with practice, you got better. You learned to balance on two wheels. You discovered the perfect balance of spices. And it's the same with these five moves. Start slow. Take one move at a time. Learn it. Understand it. Try to get a sense of how your partner responds to it. And remember, it's not just about the physical act. It's about the connection, the intimacy, the shared experience. Don't rush it. This isn't a race. It's a dance, a slow, sensual dance. Each move is a step, a rhythm, a beat. And just like in a dance, you have to be in sync with your partner. You have to understand their rhythm, their moves. And that comes with practice, with time. 
and patience. Oh, the patience. It's not just about waiting. It's about understanding that good things, truly good things, take time. And this, this connection, this intimacy, this shared pleasure, it's worth the wait. It's worth the patience. And finally, persistence. Don't give up. If a move doesn't work the first time, try again. If it still doesn't work, try something else. But don't stop trying. Don't stop learning. Because that's what this is all about. It's about learning, growing, evolving, together. So take your time. Practice these moves. Be patient. Be persistent. Because in the end, it's not just about the moves. It's about the connection, the intimacy, the shared pleasure. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. You're now armed with the secrets most men don't know. We've journeyed together through the truths about pleasing a woman, the five moves that can make her scream, the vital role of communication, and the golden rule. Practice makes perfect. Remember, every woman is unique, just like the secret map that leads to her pleasure. It's all about exploration and communication. You've got to be patient, attentive, and receptive. It's not just about the destination, but also the journey. The roadmap we've discussed today is just the beginning. There's a world of discovery awaiting you. Knowledge is power, but remember it's useless without application. The real magic happens when you take this knowledge and tailor it to your partner's specific needs and desires. Yes, it might take time and practice, but trust me, the rewards are worth it. You've got the knowledge. Now it's time to put it into action. Go make her scream.